This is David, WA901Y. We're going to explore how to set the low noise amplifier gain to the best position. A little background here. We've got a RTL SDR.com receiver. 24 megahertz to 1.7 gigahertz. The front end here is an SMA connector. There are several sample rates. We're going to be the, using a sample rate close to one mega sample per second. The IQ demodulated data comes out as 8-bit per I and Q, and that streams out of the USB interface. SMA connector is connected to a bandpass filter that runs approximately 145 megahertz to 1 gigahertz. The input to that filter is connected to a scanner antenna about 23 feet above the ground mounted on the edge of the garage. Our Raspberry Pi is a Model 4. Here's the software configuration from a standard uh, Noobs install. And presently we're running less than 10% of the one gig, excuse me, four gigabytes that it has installed in it. Let's go over to CPU usage. Totally we're running 78, 77. The one that's consuming the most is the fact that I'm doing video recording and sound recording with a simple screenshot that's taking approximately 32% of the CPU. GQRX uh, is running in the low 20%. So we have it maxed out on the processor. And like we saw before, we're running uh, good on the memory usage. Right now the temperature is 57 degrees C. That's monitored up in the corner which is off the screen right now. So let's move this off the air. Okay, GQRX. GQRX is 2.11.5 this came from a standard uh, add remove uh, install using the repository and I found that the repository on Noobs 3.2 is different than uh, older versions of uh, Noobs in the uh, software so just be aware if you're running uh, an older install of Noobs and not 3.2 you will get a different configuration that was true on my other Raspberry Pis So from a configuration point of view of GQRX, we'll take a look at that, move it up on the screen. This is picking the RTL dongle, the 2838, UHID, etc. It's a, um, there's only one, so it's a zero. Here's where the sample rate, this is an exact sample rate for the uh, SDR. It's uh, one zero two four, three more zeros, so slightly more than one mega sample per second. None of the other settings were changed from the default. The audio is default, and it's using uh, 48 kilohertz for sampling. Let's turn up the audio. Saturday, partly cloudy. High is 70 to 75. Okay, now let's get things set up here. Um, let's go to receiver. The NOAA weather stations, which three of them I'm lucky enough to receive, and the good point is that there's three different signal strengths. They'll be great for this example. Their narrow band FM, the filter shape, the filter width are all normal. AGC is uh, medium. I've uh, turned off the squelch. You do that by hitting the R button to reset it. So that sets up the receiver parameters. 
FFT. Uh, turn the average off. Uh, it creates less work for the processor. But what I really want to do is the frequency zoom. And you may have to move this up and down to see it. So here, um, in my case, I've scrunched the scene so it fits a 720p display. And I want to move in and zoom in on our spectrum. Okay, the one of the stations off, so we move the cursor until it's a four arrow here, and we grab the cursor, and great. I think that's going to look good. So let's go back to the star of this uh, video, low noise amplifier. Right now it's sitting at zero, even though it's at zero. We are receiving signals, so again, I'll turn up the audio. Good afternoon. Highs around 60. Southwest wind 5 to 10 miles an hour. Chance now, we got the strong signal, we got a medium signal, and we have a weak signal. That's now. These are set up with uh, bookmarks, and you've got to wait until you see the finger, and then you can click on the bookmark. Now we move to the weak signal. Barely. You can hear there might be some change in the background noise. So this is uh, good. The name of the game and setting the gain is to make the difference between the average noise level that this bouncy area and the peak of the signal. So we can see we have a logarithmic scale here. And it's 20 dB per division. So maybe this is a little more than 5, uh, maybe 5 to 10 dB. It's hard to tell, depending upon how you want to make a measurement. We want to make this as big as possible above the noise floor. At a certain point of turning the gain, the noise floor starts increasing also. As long as the signal is increasing faster than the noise floor, that is good. But suddenly there will be a point in which the noise floor suddenly increases faster, and that is where we want to stop. We want to back it off from that point. So, and the nice thing is we will start with the weakest signal, because that's the one that, that will show its difference most. So I'm going to go ahead and increase the sound here, not talk, and I'm going to slowly increase the low noise amplifier until I see this point where we have the maximum difference or maximum signal to noise ratio of that signal. Okay, I hit the point. Notice the background. All kinds of weird things happen. That's because in a software-defined radio, they're very sensitive to being overloaded. In other words, the A to D converters start clipping the signal and they create all kinds of garbage in, in the spectrum. That's what just happened. So what we want to do is back this off until that garbage disappears. There we go. Notice that all this stuff disappeared. There's a hint that it might have, you know, a real small hit, but we got rid of most of it. Okay, now we're gone. We got the noise floor pretty much, well, maybe slightly higher than it was when we had the gain turned off. But notice that now we got 20 
another 20. So our signal now is 40 dB at least above the noise floor. And this is great. So let's go ahead and turn on the audio and let's hear what we got. Good. Now let's go ahead and hear the other signal. Remember on the bookmark, make sure that it changes to a finger. And turn up the audio. To your favorite source of weather information. Hourly weather observations at 9 a.m. Astoria, it was mostly sunny. Temperature 57 degrees. Okay, and then of course we got the strong signal. Tuesday. Expected rainfall totals from the system Tuesday appear to be similar, if not slightly higher than Sunday's front. I hope this video has helped you to show you how to set the gain of your software defined radio. This is key, especially in GNU radio and any other uh, uh, SDR underscore, excuse me, RTL underscore SDR utilities and command line interface. The advantage with having a graphical interface, it's very straightforward as we just did in setting the gain. And this can, this can be done both in GQRX and GNU ABO. It is very difficult because we don't have this capability when we're using the command line interfaces and setting commands and don't see this graphically. We have to depend upon hearing what happens. This is David, WA901Y. Please check out the playlist. There's over 30 YouTube videos that are focused on software-defined radio, setting this system up. The system is a Raspberry Pi 4 with software that's focused on using the RTL type SDR devices, 73 and QRT.